Hi coders! Welcome to CS Time channel, a beginner-friendly channel. In this video, I will talk about Waldo in detail in Java and Sudoku. Stay tuned! Now the looping is while loop. In while loop, is used to iterate an instruction until the specified Boolean condition is true. And while loop will stop once the Boolean condition becomes false. And while loop is used when the number of iteration is not fixed. Let's see the syntax. Start with the initialization. It is the initial condition which is executed once when the loop starts. And then next is the while condition. So it is the second condition which is executed each time to test the condition of the loop. It continues execution until the condition is false. And then we have uh, the statement or a code to be executed. It is executed each time until this condition is false. We also have increment or decrement. It increments or decrements the variable value. Let's see the example. For example, you are asked to write a program to display hello 10 times. In pseudocode, it will look like this. Say I use variable x. So I assign 1 to x. So it means my starting point is 1. And how to print the word hello 10 times? It means the condition to stop is 10. So when my x equal to 10, that's the last time I print the job, the word hello. And then the next one is how to make x reach 10 from 1. So here I need to increase x one time every time it does the job. So it will look like this. This is equal to x is x plus 1. Now let's see the conversion of pseudocode in Java. In this case, I'm using Eclipse. To save time, I prepared the code, so I just pasted here. So as you can see here, my initialization start from 1, and then here is my condition to stop, and then I increase it by 1, we call it increment, every time we execute this hello code. Let's run it. Okay, here is the result. Now let's see the second example. Here you are asked to write a program to display numbers from 2 to 12. If you think that the task or the program is not that simple anymore, then it's a good idea to find a pattern before you start writing the pseudo code or the program. If you pay attention here that your job is to display number six times. It means the first number, second number, third number, and so on. And look at the pattern. The pattern here is to display the first number, I multiply 2 times 1. And then for the second one, to display the second number, I multiply 2 to 2. To display the third number, I multiply 3 to 2. And so on. So in pseudocode, we can start the initialization from 1. Since I want to display it 6 times, so it means my stop condition will be in x less than equal to 6. The next one is how to make x reach 6 from 1. So of course we need increment here. As I mentioned earlier, this is means x equal to x plus 1. Okay. So, after that, you will have to think the code to display. 
I mentioned just now, you already find a pattern by doing multiplying the first number by 2 and then the second number by 2 and then the third number by 2 and so on. So here, we can write the code like this. So it means 2 times x because the 1, 2, 3 will be inside of x. To make it clearer, let's see the tracing table here. So when you run this program, the program will start reading from here. The x equal to 1, so the x will be 1. And then we enter the looping here, but check first the condition. 1 less than equal to 6. If it's true, we write it through here, then it means enter the looping. Once we enter the looping, the job that you are asked to do is this, 2 times x. 2 times x, it means 2 times 1, and then we print it, we display it. So it's true. Once it's done, continue to the increment. Our previous x was 1. Now we ask to increase it by 1, so it means 2. Now, x was 6, ask to increase by 1, so it becomes 7. Now, go back to this, 7 less than equal to 6, false. As soon as it is false, it will quit the looping. Quit the looping and then execute whatever instruction there. Let's see the conversion of pseudocode in Java. For the second program, I also prepared the code. So I just paste it inside the main method. Okay. Exactly the same like pseudocode. I initialize it by 1. And then the conditions will stop. And then uh, how to increase the x from 1 to 6. And then here is the code that we will execute it and see the result. Okay, exactly like we want. Now let's see one more example. You are asked to write a program to calculate m to the power of n. As I mentioned earlier, if you think that the task is not that simple anymore, then it's a good idea for you to find a pattern. So, for the sake of simplicity, I will change the m power n to 2 power 3. So, now we are finding the pattern. So, 2 power 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. So, it means there is a repetition job here. How many times? 3 times. Repetition job three times. What are we repeating? Multiplying the number by itself. So the pseudocode will look like this. If I want to repeat the job three times, then my initial value start from x here. Then I will have to stop when my condition is x less than equal to n. In this case, I will use three. Okay. Now, how to make x reach 3 from 1? So, we need increments. So, we will add x by 1 every time it does the job. What is the job? We will multiply the number by itself. What is the number? The number is 2 in this case. Now, we want to multiply 2 by 2 and hold it in a variable. In this case, I will use sum as my variable. So, I will make sum times number and then I keep it in sum itself. Since sum is another variable, then I need to initialize it. So, here I initialize it by 1. Why 1? Because any number multiplied by 1 is going to be that number itself. So, to make it clearer, let's see the tracing table. We, don't forget, you will have to print the sum over there. Okay. So, as usual, the program will start from here. Our x now is 1. And then our number is 2. And then our sum is 1. 1, 2, 1. Now we enter this. 
while x less than equal to 3 our x is 1 less than equal to 3 true here is true since it is true it will enter the looping we will read from the right our sum was 1 1 multiplied by the number the number is 2 1 times 2 2 we keep it under sum so our sum now is 2 once we are done with this we continue to the next statement which is increments so now we are asked to increase our previous x which is 1 by 1 so it will become 2 once we are done with that the program will read this it will bring us back to the condition our x now is 2 2 less than equal to 3 true since it is true then we will enter the looping sum which is 2 multiplied by 2 and then we keep it under sum so our sum become 4 now okay once we are done read this it means we will increase x by 1 our previous x was 2 now it will become 3 3 less than equal to 3 yes since it is yes or true it will go back to the inside of the looping our sum which is 4 now multiply by number which is true 4 times 2 is 8 we hold it under sum once we are done with this we increase the x by 1 so our x now become 4 now we have x 4 4 less than equal to 3 false as soon as it falls it will take us out of the looping and then execute the first statement after the looping which is print sum so now what will be print here is uh, the sum in this case 8 so 8 will be displayed there now let's see the conversion of the pseudo code to java programming so for this third example it's also the same i copy the program and then exactly the same like our pseudo code we initialize the x by 1 and then our condition to stop is x less than equal to 3 and then the number that we want to calculate is 2 and then uh, to hold the calculation we use variable sum and we initialize it by 1 and then we print the result once it's out of the looping okay the result is 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8 so if you want 2 to the power of 5 for example it's going to be the same okay like that now let's see the flowchart for one loop it will look like this if there is statement previously then it will be executed if there is initial value also will be executed then enter the condition uh, of the loop which is the while and then it will check if the condition fulfill or true then the statement inside the looping will be executed now once it's done go back to the condition it will be checked again whether the condition still fulfilled if yes continue doing uh, again check again condition still true execute again keep doing so once the condition is false then it will quit the looping exactly like our example just now so if i compare it to the pseudo code the first exercise it will look like this the x it's here the x is here equal to 1 and now we enter the the while loop we enter the while loop so x less than 1 less than equal to 10 true if it is true the hello will be executed this hello executed and then increase by 1 and then go back to the condition to evaluate whether the condition still fulfilled 2 less than 10 if yes execute again the statement and then increase again by 1 and then bring back to the condition keep doing so until the condition is false then quit the looping 
This is what important about while loop. Sometimes it may not even execute. This is because the condition uh, to be tested is at the beginning. Therefore, if the condition to be tested result is false, then the loop body is skipped. And the first statement after the while loop will be executed. I want you to try one exercise. Write a program with the following expected outcome. For example, your program will ask you to enter a number and then you as a user we en will enter 5 and then the program will answer you by saying 5 is an odd number and then program will ask you again try again yes or no if you answer yes then it will continue again to the next same question but once you answer no then it will quit the program please try to write the pseudo code as well as uh, convert it to java and feel free to share your answer in the comment uh, by the way i also have a video about do while it's a good idea to understand both while do and do while loop well if you learned something from this video please subscribe and like for more videos thanks for watching